hey hey guys this is Hawkeye and I am back with Ice Lakes and there's been a few changes to the game recently they've added quite a few more pieces of tackle and some lures and some other things and I'm gonna go ahead and quickly show you now for a long time you've known that we've had the Mormishka which is the one that you put the bait on but they've added quite a few new ones but recently they just added these spoons I have not tried them but I have purchased a couple just so that I can try them out I actually might go ahead and buy one more here let me see yeah I'm gonna go ahead and buy this one because we're gonna go salmon fishing over in the west coast using some of these new baits we've got these spoons we've got the spinners and of course we've got these verticals I have used the verticals before and they do work pretty good and I bought a couple of new types of balanced lures including the silver bite which is also supposed to be good for salmon black crappie and whitefish so what we're going to do is we're going to go to the west coast and we're going to try a little free fishing just to try out these new lures now, as far as equipment, I don't think they've really changed anything. I think everything's pretty much what it has been. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty much remained the same. Now, as far as baits, though, they've added quite a few things. Now, they've added, just recently, added these small fish, which I'm going to go ahead and buy. Because they are good for salmon as well. And shrimps. Yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and... I don't know. I haven't really decided if I want to buy... Yeah, let's buy them. Now, they haven't really added any new hooks but or new lures, but these drone flies are real good. The dough ball, dough ball, bleh, dough balls are really good. Uh, these chronomide larvae. There's a lot of new cool things that you can try. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started because I've damn near spent all my money here <laughs> after winning it. All right, we're going to go to start the game. Now, I haven't shown you the free fishing before, and this is an awesome thing where you can just kind of make a little money and you're not actually in any tournaments. Now, one of the things that's supposed to be coming up soon is there's supposed to be night fishing. Now, we're not to that point yet, but... We're going to go ahead and we're going to fish here in the autumn because if I'm not mistaken that seems to be a time when a lot of these things run. Let me go ahead and get started here. Alright, of course there's no timer so we can just start fishing at any point in time that we want. Alright, now the area that I want to come over to, let me go ahead and zoom out a little bit. I want to come over just to the left of where I'm located. I'll show you here. And I don't know if you you can see, I don't, my mouse doesn't show up on here unfortunately, but there's like up in the north part, there's like this little inlet underwater. And there's a passageway between the two shallow areas. I'm going to walk right over there and there's another one on the other side of that and that seems to be two good locations for salmon. Let me go ahead and continue here. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to the, the uh, opposite one a little further first. And we're going to see if we can't catch us a few good sized salmon, maybe a pike or two. Yeah, right here is a real good spot. Nice and deep. And the salmon get big. That's why we got the big auger. Got the big old auger. Let's see. Now we're going to change our lure here. Let's see here. Now the green goblin is one I've used quite a bit, but this the one I want to change to, the Silver Bite. This is supposed to be specific for salmon, whitefish, 
and apparently black crappie but there won't be black crappie in this this is a European lake so there won't be crappie now let's see what kind of lures do I have here we've got uh, that's not gonna work for what I need these golden ones might trout jam will not okay so it looks like we want to go with the golden balls alright let's drop them in and let's take her down deep see if we can't get us some salmon here guys and I'll show you how you can get some money and you won't have to be all under all the pressure of being in a tournament you can literally just do this for as long as you want you can come in here do some free fishing I haven't tried it with other other people but that'd be a good way just to you know kind of stand around and chit chat with your buddies They have changed a few things with the dynamics. The fish don't seem to bite as much as they used to. Alright, come on. There we go. See what we got here. There's our salmon. Now he isn't huge, but he's decent sized. Yeah, they do seem to go for the up and down motion. So do the pike, so if you happen to lay into a pike, that's a good thing. Now, I'm not really sure what the exchange is for these guys when you trade them in. Now I'm going to try to get another one, then I'm going to switch lures. biting are they there we go Let's see what we got here I think we got us a little, nope we got us a flounder yeah I think maybe that we need to come up just a touch because the problem might be that we're too deep I mean, I don't know that for sure, but I suspect that might be the case. Yeah, if it doesn't bite here soon, I think I'm going to switch lures here. Give one of the new ones a try. Interesting. There we go. <laughs> waited until I did that there's the pike surprised I didn't catch you earlier my little friend let's see here alright let's switch over to this new spoon the Scandinavian king Let's see how this guy works. See if they're more interested in this, guys. Something's <coughs> biting at it. It's very light. Yep, flounder. And 
sounds very, very subtle. Okay, let's come up a little bit more here. If we're getting flounder, we're going a little bit on the deep side. So I know there's some big ones out here. Because I have laid into them. There we go. Now that one was a decent bite. There we go. Looks like they're running a little on the shallow side this time. All right, let me... All right, I'm going to change lures one more time here. I'm going to see how this spinner does. Now, since it's a spinner, the side by side will probably work better. But, eh, it may not. We'll see. Just have a feeling you'll get a little more attraction. It's starting to snow. Come on, fish. These guys are really being finicky today. There we go. Ah, white fish. Excellent. All right, guys, I'm going to move over to the other location here real quick. See if maybe it's doing a little bit better today. The lake location I'm talking about is right over here. It's actually not too far from where we started. But right here, it's pretty deep. Continue to try this lure, but this time we're gonna go deep again. Whoa! Okay, that was unexpected. Oh, I must have missed him. Oh well, that's all right. It happens. All right, we're gonna try this side by side. Last time I was here, salmon were running pretty deep, but that was before they introduced the flounders. So I don't know if the flounder are affecting the um, AI or not. There we go, got us a white fish. Yeah, my dog's got kind of bent out of shape today. We just recently got a puppy, and she is jealous as I'll get out. Looks like when I do that, a lot of times I get a bite. Not this time. If 
the nice thing about free fishing is you're not on any time constraints you just do things at your own pace all right I'm gonna go ahead and pull stakes here I'm gonna go one more other place here real quick I think we're gonna go in a little closer to shore Water's a little on the deep side here, but that's super deep. And we're going to give this same lure a little bit of a try here. There we go. Flounder. Well, the flounders seem to be going for that lure, particularly I'm going to try this salmon snake. Salmon snake? something like that. <laughs> Supposedly this is attractive to salmon. Salmon. I always want to say salmon. I don't know why. Maybe because there's an L that no one pronounces. This is supposed to be like candy to them. There we go. Now this is going to be a decent sized one. Oh yeah, much better. So they do like this one. Got a little lure in here. We're going to try to see if we can't get one more. And I'll head back and show you how you trade it in to get cash. Okay, we got this one. Ah, it's a pike. All right, we're gonna try one more time. Let's see if we can get that salmon, the last one. I was hoping to get a really big one, but seems like they're eluding me today. Probably should have went to Moose Lake. There we go. That's our big one, guys. That's our big one. Check how slow it's taking to get that up there. Eight point six one pounds. Nice salmon. Nice salmon. All right. I think that worked out pretty good. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to where we started from, just like you would if you were playing a tournament. <clears throat> and when you get up here you're going to notice that there's a little shack that you'll be able to highlight and it's right here and every lake has one of these it's just usually 
you're usually not that close to the starting circle though but you go over here and you notice where the the guy has all the fish but see I caught 11 fish 21 pounds of fish and I get $95 so you go ahead and sell them and you get that, that extra money <clears throat> so you don't have to actually be in a tournament every time and you can't get a little cash you can try out your lures see what goes after what and where and you don't have that pressure of the tournament that's going on plus you can chat with your buddies while you fish well anyway guys I hope you enjoyed that and please be sure to share comment like and subscribe and I will be back with another episode of Ice Lakes so until then I will see you later bye bye